Bobby Clip. Jesse Banks, but my friends call me Jess. All right, Jess, what can I get you? Well, nothing right now, but I hope to be in here with a friend of mine pretty soon. Had a few beers and a nice, relaxing evening. Well, that sounds good to me. You can beat this game. But right now, I was told down the street that I could probably rent some horses here from uh, J.T. O'Mara. Yeah, you probably could. All right, well, is, is he in? Who is? Yeah. J. Mr. O'Mara, J.T. O'Mara, is he? Oh, well, yeah, he's here. Just go through that curtain right over there, and uh, first door on your right, that's his office. You bet. Thank you. Much obliged. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I must have the wrong office. Well, who are you looking for? I'm looking for Mr. Romero's office. Well, I'm J.T. Romero. Oh, I'm sorry, I was under the impression that... That it must be a man that owns the cantina in a hotel? Well, no, I didn't really mean it that way. I inherited them from my father. He won them in a poker game. Now, is there something I can do for you, or did you just come in to keep me from getting my work done? Well, I was told that you own the stables also, and that you might have a few horses you could rent me. That's true. We probably do have a few horses we could rent. How long would you need them? Well, just a couple of days. My stables are south of here and across the street. Bill is the man you need to talk to. He runs my stables for me. He can show you the horses that we have for rent. And I'm sure if you want to buy a horse, we have some for sale. Well, thank you, ma'am. I might need to buy a horse when I get back if I don't find mine. You're injured. It's just a scratch. It looks like more than a scratch to me. Sit down. I really, it's not. Sit down. Well, I guess you're the patient. I guess you're the doctor. You're right. <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your problem? Well, I say it's just a scratch, but uh, JT, uh, she wouldn't leave it alone. Oh, so now it's more than a scratch. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take a look at it. All right. I see you had good sense to mind what she said. Most well, of us do. Very oh, do you? <laughs> All right. Here's your fresh shirt. Sorry it's not much. It's just something someone left behind. Thank you. Thank you. He looks like he can pay, but since you called me, I'm going to charge you. The price is one peach cobbler. Never miss the opportunity to charge her a peach cobbler.
be back later. We'll play some cards. Oh, all right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the shirt. Uh, I'm going to be needing a room when I get back, but right now, do you, uh, is there a hotel safe or something that I can put uh, some valuables in? There's one right here. Just put whatever you want in there. All right. Would you like a receipt? Yes, ma'am. I will be needing a receipt. What name would you like on that receipt? Bob McClinic. Well, that receipt trick was pretty slick. I'll have to remember that. I'm no fool, mister. I have a pretty good idea where that money came from. That's an awful lot of money. Yes, ma'am. And you needed a horse. Yes, ma'am. And that was a bullet wound on your arm. Yes, ma'am. I had money in that bank. What bank? I suppose you're going to tell me that's not the money from Holby. No. No, I'm not going to tell you that. In fact, quite a lot of that money uh, was money stolen from the bank in Holby. All right, you just stay here. I'll have Jesse go get back. No, ma'am. You're not leaving. Yes, ma'am. I'm on my way to go see Buck right now. You're not leaving. <sighs> Miss O'Mara. If I had robbed the bank and told me, would I bring the money to you and let you lock it in your safe? 